met een goed start. Dat is on, stop dat is on. Camera shake, no. Aim assist, no. Vibration, no. Accessibility, subtitle font, subtitle background, subtitle color. Should be green. Subtitle opacity, subtitle background opacity. Vision. Ooh! Oh! Nice! Lots of support, love it. Don't use a controller. Forward, backward, left, right, evade, crouch, fire, raise weapon, reload, cyberpack. Hmm. Tactical. Okay. Swap weapon, augmentation, augmentation 1, augmentation 2. Can you do this and this? No. This, this, nope. Interact, Mission HUD, Map, Call Taxi. Cinematic, it's usually loud. Home theater, headphones. Resolution borderless, V-Sync on. Graphics, yes. Yes, the graphics is yes. Everything ultra. They said do not activate DX12. Motion blur off. Objects on. No ray tracing, sorry. Um, Cineplow. New game. Profile. Nice logo, the Ascent Group. Ah, okay. Every we cycle, thousands of hopefuls make a planet fall on Valus. Ah, shake! Most pay the hefty price of passage by contracting away their lives to the corporations as indentured laborers called indents. Slaves in all but name. You are an indent with the Ascent Group, the largest corporation on Valus. Stuck in the deep tank piles of the massive arcology, you do the menial jobs you're given. Counting after cycles to the end of your contract or an early death, whatever comes first. Let's welcome you with a hard kick to the groin, like it does everyone. <laughs> but you're not down for the count just yet. Okay, let's take with female face. Yeah. 
body ink. Style. Main color is wild green. Support color is the real Gus is following. Uh, hi. Did you make an account just for this? Uh, sport color, cyanide, neon blue, top pattern, scent group. Techie, techie works. No style. You can't chat using the browser. Sure you can. Uh, not. I think you can also chat. Yeah, you, you should be able to chat even with the browser in mobile. Man bun. Side comb. Yeah, sure. Hair color. Cyber blue. Jet black. Slice magenta. This is an old account that I apparently had lying around. <laughs> Let's go with slick top. Weapon skin Default Creator Randomize Ah! Okay, let's do it all over again Hair style, side comb, hair color, slick purple, weapon skin default, confirm. Uh, I need to lower the volume just a little bit more. Okay. WMD. Interface with WMD SI. Diagnose cause of error. Conduct any repairs needed. And work order. The camera is has no smoothing. Journal tab codex. Find information about a myriad of things in the world. Locations, characters you meet, alien species, corporations, and general knowledge about the world and technology. Read about the enemies after you defeat them and find Kim help with the collection of tutorials. Okay. Law. Imp. There are more imps on Velus than sentient organic beings, short for personality imprint. Okay, that's a lot of text. I had sewage coming out of my fucking rinser this morning. It looks like showering in manure. I want this fixed. Get it done before end of cycle and I'll throw in a juicy bonus. Okay, I have a locator thing. Hi. Locker. Data pad? Everything is as functional and broken at the same time as always. The soups are doing their job, flying scraps are welding to the little silicone house content, and I still don't really get what the walking monos are up to. All in a day's work. Mm hmm. Yeah, the camera has no smoothing. Ugh, it hurts. Press left alt to crouch so that you can navigate under overhanging obstacles and take cover behind low obstacles. Interact with those objects using P, there are many types of inter not limited to people, terminals, doors, or pickups. So, 
How about your drive today? Or was it today or was it yesterday? Yeah, it came out yesterday night. It's supposed to be like a, a cyberpunk Diablo. Press O any time to let your system bring up your currently tracked objective or navigation projection on the ground. And if you stand still, a map of your surroundings. Let me check that control again. Wasn't supposed to be map. It's also available on Game Pass. That's what I'm. That's what I'm playing it on. Check all your started and completed missions and your status. Set which one to track and keep an eye on the recommended level for side missions. Get an overview of all areas you have visited and see where to go by using the map. That's me. Why is it the hell is it using my Xbox username? Reach the waste management system, SI control room. Navigate the sewers and deep into the ecology. Life support systems to reach the waste management system. I'm guessing it's this one. Side missions inactive. Are you tracking this? Focus player, next year, previous year. Arcology Blues. Okay. Oh? I don't know. Access denied. Why? Acquire more map segments as you reach new zones. Your imp will automatically survey and download the relevant maps for the current zone and sell them in your map. F me, you were right, I shouldn't have fallen for it. A new life, get a job with the Ascent Group, the trip to Valus and everything set up. All I have to do is work for the dev as an indent. I got here, I got the job, and I guess you could call what I have a home, but it's nothing like ads. I live in a dump run by a maniac and I work at a place worse than that. It's gonna take more than the rest of my life to pay it off. The silver lining is that everyone here is in, together t in it together, and in some effed up way, we're making it work. I found some good people better than the folks back home. Let's talk soon on Hollow, okay? Not enough Eucred. I can't get a snack. <laughs> so, they finally sent back up. Guess the problem was to reach the stack top, so Boom would have left me here to be scavenged rogues. Space doesn't click next. Yes. As I locked itself into a recursive void loop, it caused this beyond that door. Together with a whole lot of ferals who came out of nowhere, took a fat bite out of Mithai. But all I could do to crawl in here and put the room in lockdown. You'll help out, right? Uh, out. Yeah, those ferals mean business. Almost got me. Don't go in there unless you're packing. Another one? Uh, they didn't tell you I was already down here. Cool. That dirty fucking jacklin. Caused the SI to void loop? Yeah, something caused the SI to implode. There's been some strange power surges down here in the deep stick lately. So it might be related. But I don't know. Answers beyond that door. Perils? Larger in the soups down here. And hungry too. SI? SI's the sentient intelligence operator of this here ultra-complex machinery. Now, we're talking the most basic forms of sentience. It's not an AGI. Good. The way back's clear now, right? Right. I'm gonna hobble back upstairs, find cheap soup poon, and... Well... Do nothing, I guess. I've lifted the lockdown. Good luck. I am packing, right? Trummer is a fellow Larkian handyman, born in the gutter, works in the gutter, most probably die in the gutter, still content and always ready to crack a joke at the misfortunes of life. He is also an accomplished gossip and there is little he doesn't know about everything that goes on in the vast innards of the Ascent Group Arcology. He and Stackboss, Poon, share a kind of love-hate relationship honed over many long standards. 
I really like the language. Language makes cyberpunk. Yeah, I need to go to the top, so I'm gonna go to the bottom. That's how side questing works. Yeah, if there's a better way to know what's intractable and what's not... Do I even know where I'm going? Not sure. Access denied. Aww. Fine. Subsector 41A. Authorize me. Crates. You could picked up. Hacking environment. I can put within cyberdeck reach by holding D. Many objects in the world require a cyberdeck capable of hacking that particular type. What your cyberdeck can hack can be read in the journal's character screen. And most things hackable in the world are indicated by the color yellow. Doors and chests can even be protected by more and more complicated ice, and as such require even more powerful cyberdecks. Upgrade your deck and increase its capabilities by finding cyberdeck upgrades in the world. Yes, this is a very, very Shadowrun inspired. Uh, journal? 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 Character. The character tab contains the overall summary of your character level, skills, and attributes. It also lets you allocate skill points, check your currently carried unclaimed bounties, and the capabilities of your current cyberdeck. 148 Euclid, no skill points, no components. 100 HP, 100 energy. Cybernetics, motorworks, frame, biometrics. August level 1, 0 XP. Tactical sense, weapon handling. Evasion. No bounties. Cyberdeck. It's shit. I can analyze. TA lifestyle. 400 range, 0 0.5 cooldown. Cheap but fairly reliable. Doesn't come with any bells and whistles, but it can crack a door open if used by the right deck jockey. Okay. Are you gonna help me? Okay. Shoot and reload. Use left click to fire. Your equipped gun reload is automatic upon releasing the trigger when your clip is empty, but it can also be executed manually with W. Also, no ammo requirements, so that's nice. Ah, I'm trapped! First enemy killed. And leashed. Aiming is not all it's cracked up to be. Because it's kinda sucky, I will turn some aim assist on. Because it's not always shooting where I point the uh, reticle.
What do I see my health, goddammit? Oh, I think it's this thing. Also, no jumps. Okay, let's check this out first. That thing right here is really freaking annoying. Money, money, monies. Great, I can't even see what I'm doing. Great level design, guys. Aim high by holding right to shoot over small enemies and obstacles. You also inflict more stagger while lifting your gun. Ow, ow, ow! Why do I keep getting stuck on stuff? Okay, I aim high and I hit nothing. That's great. What the hell am I shooting? Damn it! Sheesh. Aiming is seriously weird here. Reload isn't really automatic. I love the design, I love the world building, the mechanics are currently not great. I got invisibil invincibility frames. Also at full capacity. <laughs> Good to know. That's it. I was hoping for a better weapon or an upgrade or something.
And so far, enemies are really easy. Move, damn it. At least I'm racking up experience. F-10 Hellfire Vest Canary Primarily a manufacturer of mining tools and equipment, Canary items are known for their rough design and dependability. Some of the tools have been repurposed with great success for combat, as, as their protective equipment and any Habgenger would appreciate a Canary weapon. Um, so that means I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Gambeson. Equip my armor at any time by selecting a piece of your foil head, upper body, and lower body. The summary will show you how defense types compare to what is currently equipped, and if there are any additional attributes or skill boosts gained from equipping the armor in question. Head is empty. Hellfire vest. Covers lower body. Total 2. Of what? Boosts evasion B? Seriously, are we Japanese with this? Ah, oh, what was that? Focus loss. Weapon handling spread reduction. Free flow pants. No label, basic light protection. No running, huh? I can tap faster. Good to know. This is done. Okay. This is much faster. Level up! Complete missions, collect bounties and defeat enemies to gain XP. When leveling up, you grow stronger, more damage are rewarded with new skills. Grow stronger are rewarded with what? Okay. Um, how do I do that? My loadout. Your loadouts can be viewed and changed on the fly. You can carry two weapons and one choice of tactical gear. Weapons are sorted by the mark, level, and type. P1 protector. Le 11 damage per second. Damage type is. is. What the hell does it mean? 
Fire mode single, 12 rounds per second, 16 cliff size, reload time 0.6, knockback 30, no secondary, no tactical. Equip augmentations and modules at any time, but be mindful of changing augmentations yourself will drain your energy. Augmentations are sorted based on which can power up the most based on your current attributes. Skills. I am level 2. I have frame 2. No, I have 3 skill points. Tactical sense determines the amount of tactical charge gained by for damage inflicted associated with cybernetics. These things are as energizing as death and destruction. <laughs> Critical hit rate. Eh. Weapon handling. Determines reload and weapon swap speed. I want accuracy. Motorics. What is this? What does it mean? Aiming. Determines weapon spread recovery rate. That's good. Steady hands, deep breathing, and uncluttered mind all combine to affect your weapon control. Balance. So this is the stun knockback and staggers. So this is with the frame attribute. Evasion. So determines vision cooldown speed. Mm. Vital signs. Determines max health. Body battery. Determines max energy. Give me more aiming. We'll do this for now. Allocated three skill points. Yay! Don't forget to collect everything and do all the side quests. This will probably explode, right? Red barrel. Obviously. How the hell am I pointing my reticle directly at him and miss five times in a freaking row? And no, spread does not explain all of it. Ooh, collectibles. Access denied. No. Oh, well. Okay, there is a slight cooldown. I don't really... I can do like three in a row rather quickly. Neutrals. Be cautious around people in dangerous areas. Some people don't attack on sight and will let you live. leave if you don't be ready for a fight. You want to meet your dead relatives? Go screw yourself. <laughs> Wait, 
thugs? What was that? Turbo thugs. The grunt runs of the turbo viper. They'll come after you with whatever they've got around, be that a pipe or a gun. Most are stimmed out and itching for a fight. Some come from the high hubs and are just looking to have some fun. Others were reared in the back alley hub, hub gangs and think they have something to prove. All of them are looking to kill you. The ferals. Spawn in the dank depths of the arcology, these genetic mishaps are constantly hunting for the next piece of unwary flesh to tear apart. The bigger ones will even throw stuff at you. So don't be attacked. Captured ferals are commonly used for testing everything from cosmetics to invasive weapon. Why? <laughs> Automated defense systems usually keep those driven skitters confined to the lower sub-levels, but those systems have gotten quite glitchy lately. Aim high. Aiming with a gamepad, no. Aiming with a mouse. Armor rating. Defen individual defense rating for each damage type. Make sure to equip armor best suited for the type of incoming damage you want protection from the most. Also very important that you keep up with the quality of armor as you start encountering enemies of higher level. A lower defense rating would be very punishing against stronger enemies. Usually a wise investment. Armor can also provide passive boost to attributes and proficiencies. Okay. What's this? Tap P to pick up weapons and armor to place it in your inventory. Press and hold to immediately equip it. What's this? Use central mouse to swap it when you're two equipped weapons. You can change your loadout in the journal. So it's a PDW. Lovely. Reboot the SI. PF1 supervisor hat. It has lower damage per second, but it fires full auto. Oh, we'll see. Supervisor hat. Physical, energy, digital, and fire. That's interesting. Boosts evasion and weapon handling. Oh, it just gives me fire protection. <laughs> this boosts evasion and weapon handling. Actually, weapon handling and spread reduction. I don't get it. This is evasion. This is all very confusing. Did I do all of this? Already? Yeah, it looks like. Spray and pray mode. Oh, I'm authorized now? Thanks. I'm not. Asshole. Oh, now it works. This is where I came in.
Hello. You fixed the problem. Good. Now, just reboot the damn thing and let's call it a day. The SI interface terminals pass that hollow door across the room. I've recovered enough to hobble out of here. Thanks, mate. Let's have a drink when you get back upstairs. I'll be at the punk bladder. Got it. Punk bladder. Good name. AI and SI. AI or artificial intelligence is a collective name given to a slew of different automated and semi-sentient systems, ranging from simple valve control mechanisms to advanced personal imps. The more powerful and autonomous systems are called SI, sentient intelligence. See below. It should be noted that none of these solutions is truly sentient, self-aware and conscious the way an AGI is. There are more imps and valence than sentient organic beings, short for personality imprint, and imp is in essence a semi-sentient limited intelligence system, and they are employed everywhere, both as personal assistants and as systems controllers, on all levels of the net. Some are more powerful than others, and not all have personalities as such, these are usually just called SIs, rather than imps. Almost everyone in the dusk have their own personal imp, also called LIA, or Limited Intelligence Assistants, helping them manage the day-to-day -day challenges of ordinary life in the dusk. And it's, it's common for imps to mold themselves around their owner's personality. Often, as a counterweight of sorts, they can be upgraded in, a diff in different ways through additional modules, and they can also be reset if their personalities become too quirky. Most people develop strong bonds with their imps, and a reset is only a last resort solution. Some coders specialize in imp creation and modification, and many like to put personal touches on the imps and modules they create. Their shops can be found all over the dusk. Indent, slang for indentured laborer. The vast majority of the low and mid tier workers on Valus are indentured. Paying off the price of passage to the planet by serving long term contracts with any given multicorps. The contracts are often designed so that an indent becomes completely dependent on their employer, and many end up indebted even after the original contract ends, prompting extension after extension until some live out their entire lives as indents. Indents are tightly connected to their employees, employers, and their travel often restricted. That sounds familiar. About time. I know I promised you a bonus, but you know how it is. Revenue is below targets, quotas haven't been met, my hands are tied, yada yada, take your pick. Now get it back here! There's a lift in East Stack that's acting up. Ah, uh, almost forgot. If you run into a work Shylark kid named Trummer down there, you can tell that slaghead he's on my eternal ship list. Boon out. And he already left. <laughs> Anything over here? Attention. Emergency protocol 2 Delta 80 active. In compliance with the Arcology General Contingency Registry. Proceed by emergency tunnel bypass. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Walk order. Locate stoppage, likely area sublevel 23 zone 2. Clear stoppage. Note, do not use insterins on the pipes, or the pipes will corrode. Report back. Sorry. Shockwave grenade. Tactical equipment. Aha. Uh -huh. Deploy with G. First G again to detonate in advance. To deploy a tactical, it's required a tactical charge is full. Filled by causing damage. How oh, convenient. But I just picked up one. Non lethal grenade stuns and knockbacks enemies. Hmm. I guess it's not loaded enough.
himself if I hit anyone. The red barrel is a bad sign. I need 10,000 XP for the next level. The what now? Oh, my grenade is up. I killed some neutrals. Upgrading weapons. All weapons can be upgraded if you have the required components. Visit a gunsmith to upgrade any weapon currently owned to the next mark level. Each level increases the damage. Weapon upgrades are persistent across all duplicates of that particular one. Even if you sell all currently owned P1 protector, the game will remember your mark if you get a new one. Interesting. No. Ah, the camera shifts are killing me. Is the robot stretching? Oh, that's the complete entrance. That's where the game started. Yeah, okay. It's a shortcut to the, to the entrance. Got it. Waste Recycling Network It's better not to consider too deeply what the massive pipes on the sub-level contain. Connecting all tiers and levels of the arcology above, the Waste Recycling Network gathers unfathomable quantities of, well, waste, and transport it here, where an SI is tasked with sorting and recycling that which can be recycled. The rest is dumped further down into the deep stink sub-levels where it's gathered in large pools for later disposal. Some of it is sold to other arcologies, some of it is used as fuel, and some of it is just left to rot, often becoming fertile breeding ground for ferals of all sizes. It should be noted that not everything flowing through these rusty pipes consists of garbage or excrement. Some of it is the actual recycled remains of those intents who have opted out of their post-mortem preservation contract, which many do due to the high subscription fees it commands. The sub-level maintenance areas are epic in scale, large enough to host entire settlements hiding away in the dark chasms of the ecology. Corps rarely come here, and so the area is a good refuge for those wanting to avoid entanglements with the authorities. 
Massive structural girders, vast pipe networks, and gigantic reservoirs, cover, caverns, reservoir caverns are some defining features. These forbidding areas are primarily inhabited by ferals and the ancient but functional soups. That's a good sign, I'm guessing. What did I pick up? I picked up a shot. Scene, shaky cam. And boss. Where is it? Damn it. How many are there? slow Paraferal Only a very deranged individual would ever consider breeding ferals for their own twisted purposes but the paraferal is a result of such germline meddling focused on taking an already deadly specimen and weaponize it even further the result is a slavering beast whose amped up killer instinct makes regular ferals seem like tame pets by comparison that is the base of the high level functionality of your enhanced body it drives the efficiency of your installed augmentation abilities Execute augmentation abilities with Q and thumb button. Augmentations deplete energy to unuse, but energy regenerates slowly over time. Some abilities automatically target enemies in each and signals this with a marker on the target itself. Furthermore, some of those cannot be executed unless there's a target acquired. Okay, I'm good. Hang on. Okay. Hydraulic slam. Uh, augmentations. Augmentations can be bought and found. They give you new abilities and work even better if they sync well with your skills and attributes. Install augmentations via the journal out in the field or by visiting the grafter. Doing it without the grafter's touch will deplete your energy. You can find new augmentations in the world from enemies or buy them from the grafter. 
U+. Many, if not most, of the popular sports on Velas, like speed crash, racing, and chrome dome fighting, are supremely violent. U+, specializes in fashionable and durable sports equipment and clothing, but they also sponsor some of the most popular teams. Let's talk augmentations. Aug slot 1. Hydraulic slam. Cool 3. Consumption 60. Punch delivered with massive hydraulic force propels enemies away from you. The hydraulic slam arc was made for the chrome dome arena fights, but serves equally well in any crowded combat situation. Motorics increase damage. Currently my motorics is up, I use motorics a lot. Yeah. Certain enemies are known troublemakers and have a bounty on their head. Defeat an enemy with a bounty and collect proof to be able to claim the reward at any bartender on Velas. Be careful, bounties have various boosts in combat making them, to making them tougher. Check your currently collected bounties in the journal and don't forget to claim the rewards. Okay. Augmentation abilities. Execute augmentation abilities. Deplete your energy. Yeah. Why do I have to hold the close? P92 EMP grenade. Lethal grenade causes energy damage and disables nearby electronics, also called the circuit breaker. This grenade will put the lights out on most chrome freaks. Next to it are bots. Okay, right now ferals are my biggest problems. So I'll stick with the shockwave. Ow, that hurts. Kill 10 enemies using exploding bubbles. Um, do it! Oh, I thought it was area of effect. Can I switch it up? Wait. Key mapping. Combat. Augmentation 1. Augmentation 2. Better. What was that? I didn't catch it. Okay, full elf. No. Character skills. Mm hmm. Evasion cooldown. Yeah, probably evasion cooldown is gonna be my second favorite. I can handle slow reloading. Determines the amount of tactical charge gains on damage inflicted. Associated with cybernetics. Give me one evasion, one tactical sense, and one more tactical sense.
the deep stink. The deep stink constitutes the vast subsurface levels of the arcology. Few herbals even come here, and those who do would rather be elsewhere. Vast pipe networks, feats of macro engineering disappear into the dark abyss below the arcology. Ancients Ancient manufacturing security system unreliably keep the ferals trapped in their breeding grounds, where they feed on what falls down from above. Everything is haphazardly maintained by the soups, a large network of interconnected service bots. There is a musty and ever prevalent stench of wastage, mold, decay, and a offal in down here, hence its nickname, the deep stink. And that's where we're going. Ah, camera shift! Oh, my stomach! Why are you doing this to me? Let's check. So it's me and the maintenance bots. Got it. Ugh. Ugh. At least they don't fall off the edge so easily. Yeah, this place doesn't look like it's in good shape. What? Thank you for blinding me with red lights. Ah. Hi. I think that's where I need to go. Choose your destination, the Warrens. Now's the title drop. Okay, Berg. Odini. Names are really familiar. Sweet justice. Yeah, the deep stink. You do not want to go in there. ATM. Bleep blop. Small aliens, big aliens. Okay. Why does that make sense? Because it's a game!
just open random vehicles. I'm stealing this guy's credits. Exit 14E Arcology Warrant. Wait, that's where I need to go. <laughs> that's how I do a nine. Restricted access. Okay, let's go. Now this place is full of trash. Short skin CSM. Okay. As in cigarette smoking man. Mm. Pod lot. Somewhat of a desolate route, mostly used by the surrounding hempstacks to get to cluster 13. This area serves mostly as a stop on the road for vehicles. There's a large parking depot for the Blossom Hills residents and even a landing pad even a uh, landing pads and a mega near a fuel depot where inter and intra arcology transports gather to refuel and share stories. The space serves just as well for covert meetings, shady dealings and the occasional stabbing. The Warrens make up the lowest officially inhabited levels of the arcology. Warm, smoggy and humid, down here were clusters of densely packed hepstacks merged and attached themselves to the arcology in an almost organic fashion. The Warrens are found on one of the lower, lowest levels before the actual deep stink, and it's not uncommon for a whiff of the nether regions to make its way into the air recyclers above. But the handles here are used to the stench, the humidity and the never-ending barely policed violence. Some indents look up to the mid and top levels and yearn for better lives, but most have the sense to limit their dreams to the realm of the possible. Cover. Crouching behind cover can be your key to survival. Aim high to shoot over covers. Huh. Interesting. Crouching to navigate under overhang obstacles. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start today, yeah. Stop changing the camera! Dear God! This is full. Junk. Access denied. Junk basic components. Why the hell isn't the camera following where I'm walking? 
shouldn't be that difficult. Basic tech vest. Huh. Will boost basic torso protection. Packed with potential, including multiple equipment listen. Uh, to hang your soldering iron on, jack in sockets and loud protection. Is this giving me more cybernetics? I think. No, more critical hit rate. Damn, that's confusing. Um, more critical hits, less handling. Mm. Where the hell am I? Um, Can I buy something? Are you a vendor? <laughs> I like it how I can just go anywhere and push people around. Mm hmm. Not gonna let me pass. Locked area. to the fist. Clone. Cluster 13. Cluster 13 has sprung up around the administrative offices of Stack Cluster 13. The collective name for the many hub stacks in this sector where indents of all kinds live out their lives. The admin offices Themselves are drab and functional, housing the cluster SI and a myriad of workers tasked with keeping the cluster running and assigning different jobs to the indents registered there. There is also an Ascender club in the area. Ascenders came here to interact, relax or participate in any of the Ascender activities on offer, such as corporate rallies and similar. Registered activity with the Ascenders can be beneficial when the annual performance evaluation, the field APE, comes around. Plus 13 also holds a few select shops and eateries, the most conspicuous of which is the Serenity Plus, a multi-fusion restaurant popular with the more affluent low havers. Stack Paspoon has made the Serenity his actual office, and he is rarely seen elsewhere, much to the consternation of the restaurant owners, as Poon expects free service. Of course he does. You're training himself with you? No? Piss off. You know how they say no matter where you go, there you are? Well, whoever said that obviously never took the orange snooze. Man, that's the stuff. The legend. Let's you live a whole another life in a single heartbeat. And here's the thing. You think it's all real. But me? Hell, I ain't got any. You want some that orange? Man, you better be sitting on a pretty big chunk of change just to get half a whiff. Okay. Wanna make you creds? Collect bounties and come to me. Show me bounties. Hmm. I can only sell. I can't get. You join the call for life, and man does exactly what they take. Then they let you go, and there ain't nothing left at all. The drinks are not as nice as they are in rats, but they are cheap. Plus, less chance of getting shit back quick. <coughs> I picked up a skill point. 
in the gym. Man, what in the hell is the point of sitting here day in, day out, lifting the same goddamn weight over and over again just to add like 3 millimeters to my bicep? There's gotta be a faster way to get ripped. Excuse me. You? Just above? A second of switching routine. What's wrong with this one? Nothing wrong, just wanna change, so maybe add some legs into it. F that, I hate leg cycles. Ice too. Oof. City kebab. Hey man, what can we get you? Up, down, sideways, which way you wanna go? Or maybe you wanna check out entirely. Ready for a little snooze? Try my sh shit, man. Put you on another level, and that's no lie. Can't I just go in there? Pharmacy. You ever got a song or even just a little, like a little melody stuck in your head and it just plays on a loop over and over again? Yeah, they call that an earworm. Man, I don't know what it is, but lately it's like my head's filled with earworms. Just all music all the time. You know we should head to the junkyard, talk to the composer though, Eves. Kind of a crazy bastard, but man, he knows what I'm talking about. Got some catchy tunes, that Eve. Check him out. Activate? How many more ways can I... Can I get to... to not do the main mission? Damn, this level is big! Hard lot. Okay. Wanna sit? Get up, you idiot. Tyshin will be here any moment and don't want to argue with him and his chromed up goons. Blossom Hill, Stimtown. Tacos, not enough tacos for everyone. Who wants tacos? Tacos sound nice. Went into immediate default after the corporate White Dragon Noodle Bar. Another at Duo Nine. Officers of the Ascent Group. Ice three. Shovsky in the sandals. Let's 
Serenity Plus. Don't tell me to report. B10 180 Digivisor. Yeah, more stuff. Hmm? No? Nothing? Coco! Can't get into Coco. Morg. Great. Snack. Uh huh. Into immediate default after the corporate AI filed for bankruptcy one subcycle ago. Okay, that was an interesting experience. At least it loads quickly. CSM. I'm guessing it's on the lower level. That's the noodle bar. Okay, three stall. What is this? What's happening? Business is coming up and I'm shutting down soon. That's what's happening. Okay. C can, do you want me to buy something? What? No. But there's a, there's a thing. Spooky action at a distance, huh, that's for sure. Okay. We're looking at beaming, but we still can't get around the issue of penetrating intervening matter, which means interdimensional hopscotch still comes into play. May not be worth the extremely high energy requirement then, though such a reaction would in turn be highly exothermic in nature. What are you doing here? Don't they realize that real actual teleportation is ultimately fatal at any rate? It's not the same person being transferred, it's the breaking down the instant killing of the current person and then the subsequent reconstruction at the atomic level of an exact copy of that very person, memories and all, at a remote distant location. And yet still, I've been criticized by my peers for weaponizing this research. As if what they were doing wasn't outright murder all along. Okay. That's a way to look at things. Cyber deck upgrade. City kicker. Can open doors with ice one. Pants. Those actual pants? Those are actual pants. Uh, 
They protect against bludgeoning damage, against physical damage. But they lower my what boost? <laughs> my evasion boost. Hell no, I want my evasion boost. Damn, yeah, this is a big place. Wait, is that the same thing I already had? Yeah, I have two of them. Okay. And I'm back here. Okay. I think... It was over here. Yeah, over there. And then go one level down. Crafting. Give me something to work with. Let me look at the chrome. Luton. Oof. Expensive. Deploy a companion drone to help collect loot. Seriously. Lock on fire. Damn! Empty the remainder of your clip with perfect accuracy and extra efficiency. Hyper focus. Slows down incoming projectiles. No. I'll sell you one of these. You sold something, yay! I'll keep the rest. Fine, I'll come back later. Grafting. You try the new blue nine cable on your deck, shave two milliseconds off your access time, get you in a lickety split. If you got the pieces? I got the skill. Let's talk. Weapon skin. Defender PPU. Upgrade one. Will just give me a little damage boost. Ballistic submachine gun. With the protector also damage boost. Yes. And give me the protector I'd marked you. And I'll be back. <coughs> and this is where the action is. I heard that there's this genius hardware guy out there, a Carlin, does all the mods for the top speed crash racers. Other stuff too. You install this shit and man, it's like tip top performance. You're on like all the damn time. But they say he's a bit of a practical joker too. Because these little personality tweaks into his mods that only he knows about. Like I hear he's really into the color red, you know? And not just only that, but this deep, dark, crimson blood shade of red. So apparently you install his shit, there's like a 50% higher chance he'll start wearing more red. Crazy, right? It's like the whole world's his canvas, and that's just how he signs his name. Cool. <coughs> Weapons. Visit vendors, weapon armor, cyber and crafter to buy and sell goods. New goods become available over time, so make sure to revisit vendors from time to time. Lower new cards, have seven pistols you're not using, why not sell them for extra resources and invest in a new shiny pain maker? You about to call static? Tell me what you have. E4 pacifier. Wait. <coughs> I have only one, you have two. Compare this to my regular one. Dread. Love the name. Wait. 
Wait, what is that 15? What do any of these mean? Oh, finally! Some info. Rounds per second go down. Knockback goes down. I want to compare a sidearm to my sidearm, not my PDW. What the hell did I do? God damn you. Okay, mine does... Four rounds per second, reload time 0 0.6, 9.25 per shot. And this thing does 12.16 per shot. And it costs a freaking fortune. Okay. I shall have to come back. Where am I heading now? This is clone again. The ascent group went into immediate default after the corporate. Second and seven Linux. On shop. Oh, sec. Dash up for statics. Do you watch the feed? It's my number one go to to know what's happening. Grateful okay, Abbott always tells it how it is. True news, like I call it. Sure. I don't know what that says. Okay. Yeah, that's what I came out of. Yeah, so here we have weapons and modifications and crafters. Okay, let's find the actual job. Wait, it's that way or that way? Pick a direction. <coughs> no, it's not a city mode. to immediate default after the corporate AI filed for bankruptcy one sub-cycle ago. All attempts to contact the corporate board has failed, and we've yet to receive an official statement. The Ascent Group Arcology on Velas has shut down, with some claiming it's gone into default mode. If this is true, without AG security, corporate grab teams will already be moving in on the lock tool. As I always say, one being's ill fortune is another's opportunity. Stay tuned. To all havers in Cluster 13, this is Poon. As you've probably noticed, our dear ontology just defaulted. I don't give a feral's ass about the whys and wherefores. Business will go on as usual. That means no panic, no whining, and certainly no slacking off. Business as usual. Understood? Poon out. Grateful Abbott, the famous news announcer from the feed, needs no further introduction. Grateful Abbott is a Hortian who made it big and whose effusive optimism has created a dedicated following. Supposedly just as nice off camera. 
Ecology, a massively structural wonder designed to house hundreds of thousands of beings while also managing their different needs, Velus has several ecologies rising above the dusk, with the one belonging to the Ascent group being the largest. On the lower levels of the help stacks stand crowded together and indents live out their meager lives, early seeing the outside of the ecology they call home, while at the upper levels top management enjoys spacious accommodations and even real sunlight. What now? Complete the ecology blues. Side mission finished. Stack boss. A stack or stack cluster, superintendent, work shift manager, and overall caretaker all roll into one. The larger the cluster, the more cloud of stock stack boss has. Damage types. All attacks have one or several damage types. Every enemy has different resistances, try different combinations to see what works best. You can see the efficiency on the color of the damage numbers, gray inefficient, white normal, and red very efficient. Hmm. Compared to what? You there, yes, you, the one standing around gawking awkwardly at all the magnificence you see before you. Yes, it's true, we're on the verge of a breakthrough here, one of the biggest ever in the history of science. Diesel checks my name. And what we're trying to do here is, well, it has to do with teleportation, you see. I have a new field generator here, and what it does is rather than teleport a person or object, well, it just keeps them in that in-between state instead. That was the molecule, so to speak, while they remain in stasis. Nerf-rattling and, well, kablooey. Of course, we do need just a tad bit information, more information here before the tech is perfected and ready for sale. So, what do you say? Can you head on out into the field and give us a little bit more data? Sure. Well, that's just fantastic, my boy. Just fantastic. Um, girl. What we need specifically is some real-time combat data from out and about. Just get on out there, put some baddies into stasis, and just keep on keeping on, even after stasis has been achieved. I mean, really, just rev it up and see what happens. The more pressure you apply, the better. We need to push it to the utmost extremes here. Of course, there's a very good chance that our subjects may not survive this data collection process. But hey, it's only the name of science, right? Well, that and money. That helps too. So, you ready to do your part? Go down in history as an accomplice to my genius. Just head back this way once you've had enough test subjects and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Double charge. I'm here. Armor. Yes, I got that. Armor vendor. Can I have both? Excess harness. Hmm. I have the tech vest. Why don't you show me I have it? Speed Crush Speed Crush Team Jacket. It looks cool. That's what I have. Handyman backpack. Lots of handling. I like it. Lower body reduced. Speed re spread reduction increased. Slab walker chest plates. Increases energy. I'm tempted to get this. Vision, Bonnie Energy. Smuggler's Pants. This is, reduces my vision a lot. I like my vision. 
I think I will try that handyman backpack. This is my uh, this, uh, this is my resistance a lot, but it keeps me steady. Let's give it a go. Death glare visor increases spell reduction. That sounds good. Energizer visor. I need I will need to sell something. Okay, so if I switch armor to the handyman then I sell the rest of my crap. Oh, now you ask? my skills. Insane. Um, give me slightly more evasion. Now sell this and this. I'm going full glass cannon. What's this? Cyber vendor. I won't be liable for any loss of neuron. Tacticals. Frag grenade. Explosive area damage. Sweet justice. <laughs> Uh, sudden gravity fold. Lovely. That's rather expensive. But I love the idea. Stasis drone. Uh, I can't afford it. Sack for trousers. Uh. Mm, no. Yeah, we're back here. Okay. Where are the other side quests? From each data burn, neural pain, general anxiety, impotence, whatever it is, hands can surely help. Here are the stims and sounds to satisfy your every need. My, what a formidable specimen you are. If there's nothing Hans can offer you, maybe there's something you can do for Hans. Interested? Wonderful. Hans will proceed to explain the situation. You see, Hans' signature ramrod bomb has been flying off the shelves lately. Seems especially popular with Jahlans. Now the stack is running low and Hans lacks enough ingredients to make more. One item in particular is rather hard to come by. It's 
feral testicles. You see, they're balls, if you will. They possess extraordinary potency due to the tough environments they grow in. The feral questions are unlikely to part with the vital willingly, so Hans expects you will have to get your hands dirty. But Hans will make it worthwhile to you return when you've got enough. Okay, oh yeah, I'm going balls deep. I think I need to find another way down. Not through there. Oh, that's the gym. Oh, that's what I need. Hey, you, little guy. Girl. Yeah, that's right. See me around here. Maybe you can lend all Atticus a hand. This ain't been so great lately, but I'm thinking there might be a way we can turn that around. See, all these weaklings in here, they just don't have the time or the patience to really build out their physique, know what I mean? I to say it, but gone are the days when you'd put in months, years to really pump yourself up, build yourself out. Now everyone wants instant results in like, weeks. I tried doing it old school here, but the clients just aren't having it. They want to get pumped and that, they wa and that want it now. So I'm thinking, well, if the customer is always right, maybe a little chemical enhancement might be just the thing. So, would you mind fetching a little something for me? A little chemical booster? Awesome, bro. Sis, you have a lifesaver. I needed to pick up this shipment of steri um, chemical enhancers for me. Steroid. It's in the node. I'm sure you know the place. You can grab the goods from my contact over there. Bring everything back right away and I'll cut you in on a nice little slice of the delivery. Okay. Anabolic Express. Didn't I? Oh, that was the ice one. What? Oh, what a specimen! You must help me! What do you mean what a specimen? They look very normal. I am on the verge of an enormous breakthrough, but I need assistance. My name is Dr. Humidor. Perhaps you know my work? No? Well, I'm in need of a fearless indent. Is that you? Excellent. See, I specialize germline bacteria modifications, but I'm having trouble growing my samples. This latest patch needs an abundance of humidity. We're in the bottom of the stack. So, I will send you, someone used to a life of adventure, place these petri dishes at the locations I have sent to your imp. Off you go, great things await. The Humidity Doctor. Hang on, I need to find a way down. Come on. Oh, I for him I sell bounties. I'm guessing up there is the feed. Maybe I need to go up. What? I've already been here twice, come on. No, I'm in the same freaking place.
There we go. So we finally figured it out yet. The innate superiority of the virtual over the real. Nah, well that's okay, you'll get it eventually. Actually, hey man, woman, can you do me a solid? While you're out there, I'll make it worth your while. That's awesome, woman. It means a lot. See, I want to experience the real physical world, but from the comfort, the cleanliness of the virtual. Know what I mean? So, like the real world, in real time, but done through full on VR. Like I'm really there, but not. So none of the messiness. If you can go to these locations I picked out and place these VR cameras, and then call me with the built-in phones when you're done. Then yeah, I think we can cook up something really cool here. Here, first one I want to see is real close. It's that junkyard where the Hortians do their thing, the worshipping. You know, the place with all the statues? Here it's really something. Call me whenever you're done placing a feed. I won't be here, but you can always reach me on the phones. Okay. Now it's time to grab the main mission. Harlan. Harlan's always been the curious sort, afflicted with a deep wanderlust and desire to experience sights unseen, and yet at the same time he has an absolute aversion to leaving his hab. It can be tricky for an adventurer to see the world without ever leaving the comfort and immaculate cleanliness of his home. Or is it? Recent advances in real-time VR broadcasting have made it possible to set up remote omnicams certain locations, which will allow you to jack into the tangle and experience the spot as if you're really there, while staying pleasantly safe from all the grit and grime. Arlen is all about seeing the world without leaving his hab, so how about you help him out? We know you can use the exercise, and who knows, maybe you'll see a few new sights yourself along the way. These are all the busy bodies. Hello. Serenity Plus. One of the most popular eateries in Cluster 13, Serenity Plus offers a fusion menu. Though few remember what exactly has been fusion these days. Many habers find it a bit on the pricey side, which suits the regulars just fine, as that helps to provide them with an air of superiority for affording to hang out here. This restaurant is also the de facto office of Stack Boss Poon, the Cluster 13 strongman, and from here he manages his extensive network of underlings, hirelings, and tenants. Stasis Tech. What the Havers like to call Stasis Tech, or Time Freeze, was in fact born out of the experimental teleportation technology. It has long been believed by scientists that complete teleportation of physical objects should be possible, but so far all attempts at building a functional so far, all attempts at building a teleportation device have at least ended up with very unstable machines. Attempting to use one of these might as well implode you, as scatter your constituent atoms across the entirety of the cosmos, as actually transporting you from A to B, or you might end up arriving with your arm attached to your forehead. But some gains have been made, and especially with stasis tech, where the inverted quantum effect arising the instant before teleportation is set to happen is locked in place, effectively freezing all targeted matter in time and space. This has since been weaponized by intrepid inventors, and can be used effectively in combat as a crowd control measure. Just don't expect the controlled crowd to necessarily survive the experience intact. Speak with the stack boss. Why everything so blurry? Ah. Oof, that's a lot of metal. What about the treats? Oh, treats. Um, when you need a company rally or inspirational cap mugs to hand out, I'll let you know, okay? Why the hostility, Poon? All I'm saying hey, is that we should stick together in a time of crisis, and that we're here to help in any way we can. And all I'm saying is that I don't see how you can help right now. The Ascent Group is gone, and the board has gone quieter than a null-spaced column. Maybe you people should start looking to what's next. The Ascent Group is not just the board, Poon. It's us. 
No, not a parrot. I'll show you in a minute. United around an idea. The corporation can only collapse if we allow it. Whatever. An idea won't feed my indents or provide security when Corpsek gets wise to the fact that their paychecks aren't coming. Now, you'll have to excuse me. My next meeting just arrived. Fine. We'll talk again later, Poon. Hang on. Ugh. <sighs>